my ground. Now it's time to shine. Welcome to the next. Say welcome to the next. Better show me my respect. Welcome back to the Microsoft Surface NBA Draft Combine here in Chicago. Beautiful Trust Arena. We are getting ready for the first scrimmage of the day. You know, when I, when I was here yesterday, I talked to a lot of the scouts, and they said, yeah, it's important to see the measurables. Let's take a look, at the, look at the rosters, and for Team 1, here we go. All right, who are you looking at in this first game? You know, the guy I'm going to be watching closely is going to be Joshua Primo from Alabama. He's the youngest player here, but he's got size, versatility. He only scored about eight, nine points a game at Alabama, but an excellent spot-up shooter that's really athletic and shot close to 45% on catch-and-shoot situations. Uh, a good defender, uh, and I think he's got a ton. A lot of, of big scorers on that team. Team two, Lafonso, what do you like? Yeah, speaking of big scorer, how about Johnny Juzang out of UCLA who put their whole nation on notice with how he played in the NCAA tournament. A guy who can create his own shot off the dribble, has an excellent pull-up, Jay, moves well without the basketball, and is an absolute knockdown shooter at 38% from three. And much easier to say than Mamu Kelishvili. Although I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of rolls off the tongue, right? <laughs> Let's take a look at the rules for the combine. You see you got two 20-minute halves, team penalty. It'll be the 10th foul. Overtime will just be two minutes. Want to make sure we don't go too long. And instant replay will not be used for these scrimmages. Is it running clock? No, I think they stop it. No, okay. they, they can stop the clock. I hope they stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, travel ball over the break. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> AU basketball. <laughs> you know, something interesting about Team 2, they've got three guys who participated in the G League Elite Camp who got the call up to this NBA combine. So let's see how they perform. Done a nice job earlier in the week. Carly Jones, Aaron Wiggins, Dwayne Washington getting the call up. Everybody's trying to fit in. They want to obviously show themselves well, and they don't know each other all that well. Now, we saw the ball slip out of McKinley Wright's hands. That's an awfully good excuse if you miss. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's a ball. Good pass. Mamu Kielak feeling up top. Sims in the lane, finishes off the glass. Really run, and he sets good screens to be. Reeves has, because he's not bothered at all. <laughs> Washington leading all scores with five points. Uh, that was a nice take. This and have opportunities like this, and to see the excitement and the celebration. about your guys. Well, first and foremost, they want to know about them as a people because a uh, nice move there. Possible. Um, uh, taught second and third grade Sunday school. And uh, uh, analytically, he's off the charts as far as uh, analytically proficient players. So uh, a, a lot of great things with Jared. And then Davion is someone's just addicted to basketball. We had a, a, a rep it and practice it where you get confidence. But the next thing is everyone's going to miss shots. I mean, if you're the best shooter five against us in the conference tournament uh, uh, and, and beat us, a lot of them were in the second half. Half. It's yeah, a yeah. mistake to have more and more success. Um, uh, Deuce McBride is somebody that uh, 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 he can really get after you to three, four points per possession, which is elite and uh, uh, an elite uh, uh, point guard. So assist rate was off the charts. Uh, pick up when you get older, you usually improve your shot because your athleticism starts to diminish. So, <laughs> so, so the key is what? Uh, I'm certainly not getting my body fat <laughs> this week. <laughs> Make it with the turnaround. <laughs> Jumper, that yeah. was smooth. It wasn't really, uh, that's why it's uh, can't thank the NBA and NCAA enough for working together to help make sure players get the accurate information to make the best decisions for them and their families. Scott, in out of high school, uh, has that been more of a discussion than in the past? No question. And uh, uh, again, I think. Uh, it's, it's a great option for some players that don't want to go to college. Um, but it, for us, the, the blessing is uh, we have a good squad coming back. So if we can coach it all, we're going to have a chance. All right. So uh, uh, really, really like the guys that we have returning. Um, and then because they, they know with the culture that we want and what it takes to win at the highest level. Yeah, you, it's, it's one of those important things where you have to know what your strengths are. Is if you're a shooter, then shoot it. If you're a rebounder, oh, runner, what a beautiful pass. Yes. Barnes <laughs> Highland. Yeah. I don't have a yeah. draft pick, but I would pick him. Yeah, and he's doing Gets into the lane going against Johnny Juzang, crosses him over. Oof. Bones. You're going to make a lot of bones. Nice dump down inside. 
Hauser comes up with the board. You know, John, one of the things that, that I think, and most of the players know this, they probably don't need to be reminded, but you want to keep in mind is if you're playing at the NBA Combine, what you do aside from scoring that's going to help a, an NBA team be successful. You that's can pull it off the backboard at 6'11", push it up the floor, <laughs> make a change for you, change the direction behind you. Uh, by Sandro is that, you know, you have to understand who you're going to be, at, uh, certainly at the start, and, you know, nobody's here scouting these players going, okay, well, uh, you know, we, we need this being the, just being the leading scorer by taking volume shots. They, sure. they don't need you to do that. Mm -hmm. They need you to make intelligent plays. <laughs> Rim attack. Yeah, at 6'9", his ability to be able to get off the floor quickly has a terrific second jump. I mean, the entire lane has to part and nobody comes over to defend. Is that part of the deal? <laughs> nice dish inside. Jericho sends. You know, to, to our, our earlier discussion, uh, one, one of the things that Jericho Sims needs to do, a terrific catch you know, from the dunk spot, one of the things he's got to do, another guy that his activity level needs yeah. to be really high yeah. here to show that athleticism and how he can impact the game. So he's not running the floor right here. He needs to get back. I mean, he's on defense here. Look how late he was getting there. And if he'd run the floor, he could have taken away that shot. by Michelle. When a guy breaks down his shot and really wants to retool it, how long does that take to go into effect and, and see it in a game? That's a good question. It, it, it has done without Chris Paul. His game management has been terrific. He's been able to get in the lane and finish plays. He's been knocking down his three ball. And wow, what a great job, Monty. Length of time. Really remarkable. That's AJ Wall. Pass. My goodness. Ooh. Jay, I'm impressed with him. McCord make him and looks over his inside shoulder. Looks like he's going to make a move. Back down his defender, Jericho Sims. I'm impressed with him. <laughs> My gosh, he's shown us a little bit of everything today. Looks over his inside shoulder. See if a double team's coming when he caught it just off the lane and a terrific cut by Dwayne Washington Jr. from Ohio State. But that was a big time pass by Maker. Maker's got nine points. That one assist you just saw. And there's the ball game.